Okay, this next example demonstrates the use of a very useful module which you can get at this website, hmkdesign.dk forward slash rebel forward slash list hyphen view forward slash list dash view dot r. I go to that website, click on file, and then save as, and you can save that onto your uh, hard drive wherever you'd like. Uh, you can get documentation for this uh, by going to the, the main site um, and then click on downloads and you'll see all the modules that are available here for use. There are quite a few, few useful modules. Um, the list view module and its documentation are under listview.html um, and it describes how to use this incredibly useful module for, for uh, data management. Um, this little module basically um, lets you put data on screen into a GUI in a very quick and useful way. It's got a lot of facilities for, for managing data, for example, from a database or from a text file. Uh, we're going to actually take a first look at uh, the, um, the simplified version of this, which is down, uh, down a couple clicks. And um, What this code does first um, is download the listview.r module if it doesn't already exist on the hard drive. So we do a little conditional check. If this file does not exist, the listview.r file, you notice there's a percent sign for the file. What's going on here is it checks for a conditional, and it checks for the reverse of the conditional. You usually check to see if something is true. So if this not was it was not here, it would say if this file, we use this uh, function, exists to check and see if a file is on the hard drive. So here it's checking to see if it doesn't exist. If that's the case, if it doesn't exist, execute this file, uh, this uh, block which uh, writes to that file name whatever is read from that uh, HTTP address, HTTP address. Uh, so basically just checks to see if the file is there. If it's not, it writes it to the hard drive. Then it imports the, that code, which is just a bunch of rebel code that lets us, uh, that actually builds that, um, that new widget called list view. Uh, and then it also checks to see if the database has already been created on the hard drive, um, again, check to see if it's been created. If not, it writes uh, to that file database. A very simple little database here. It's got two empty blocks of information in it. Um, and then it loads the existing database, whether it's the new one or the one that was already on the hard drive, um, into a variable called the database. Then we've got a little uh, View layout. Um, we name the layout GUI. Centered on the screen, and here's the layout. And most of this layout is typical Rebel GUI code that you've seen before. Um, the only thing that's different is there's a thing we're going to call the view, a widget, which we're going to label as the view. Um, and this uses the imported code from. Uh, the list view module that we imported. Uh, so we have a new GUI widget here called list view. It's going to be 775 by 200 pixels across. And the format, which is all documented in that uh, uh, online resource where you download the, the module, works like this. Um, you can put the, the columns that you want to appear in this um, widget, and we're going to have these columns student, teacher, daytime, phone. <coughs> parent, age, payments, reschedule, and notes. Those are all going to be columns. Um, the data that's going to uh, appear in that uh, in that on-screen list of data is going to come from the, the data we loaded from the database. Uh, we're going to uh, try state sort is a um, a built-in function where you can uh, sort according to the information in the columns. I'm going to turn that off, and we're going to make these columns editable so that we can insert information right into this little GUI widget. The rest of the GUI is just uh, some similar uh, widgets to what we've seen in previous examples. They're going to be uh, um, laid across the bottom of the screen. Um, there's a button which adds a row, and so when you click on that button, here's the here's the code, um, and it 
it executes a function that's built into that um, list view module called insert row. And what that does is inserts a row. So um, we're, we're running that um, function by referencing the, the list view module, which we call the view. And we're running the function in that module uh, or in that uh, item in that list view uh, widget called insert row. Um, and then another button removes the row, same format. Run the re remove row function from the list view module. And again, another another button that uh, filters data. Um, so we can choose uh, limit data that's shown in the, in the list view. Um, we do this first by requesting some text from the user, um, instructing the user to leave, leave the uh, information blank. Uh, to in refresh all of the data so it's not filtered at all. We called that that um, text that's gotten from the user filter dash text. Um, and then we have a conditional. If as long as the filter text is not empty, as long as the user has typed something, um, then run this code. And again we run another um, another function in the list view module, in the list view widget. Um, called filter string, and that will filter. Uh, it's the information that's displayed only if it includes. Will only include it on screen if it uh, includes a text entered by the user, and then we update the, the widget. There's one final button that saves the information uh, when it's called save db on the button. When that button's clicked, uh, we save the uh, or to the file database.db the information, the data that's contained in the, the widget, in the list view widget. And to see how it works, there's already been a pre-created um, database file, a simple little file that contains some names and addresses and information. And you can see the default, default view here. Um, by default, this uh, list view module will allow you to uh, Click on headers and we'll sort by headers. Uh, so if you want to sort by, for example, a teacher's last name or any of these columns by a day uh, or a time. Uh, and you can see if you want to add a row, you can add a row here. Just double click on the item. And add info and do this as much as you want. So this is a great way for uh, creating a, for example, a front end to a database. Um, we can also use these other buttons which we've created here. Execute the remove row function. Um, filter the data, for example, if we only, only want to see items that contain the word Smith, it'll only display those items. Uh, filter again with, with no information typed in and it will show all of the data. Uh, we can save the database to the hard drive and built into this little list view widget along with a ton of other features is this little diamond here that will show the data in its default format.